When your forensic team is involved to understand how the attack happened and truly understand the depth of the attack, the first thing they want to do is to collect as much information from the infected machine. Microsoft Defender ATP gives you the ability from the management portal to go and collect an investigation package that your forensic team can use. So here I'm logged to the Microsoft Defender ATP management portal and I can see I have a couple of alerts and I have some machines at risk. Let me quickly choose Demo3 machine and open the machine page. I can quickly see the risk level of that machine. Obviously there is one incident with seven active alerts so it might worth investigating. You can see a list of actions in the top bar. As this action, you as security professional can perform remotely from the management portal without going to the machine itself. One of the actions is collect investigation package. If I click it, this will send a request to the local Microsoft Defender ATP agent on that machine, instructing it to collect forensic information right now from that machine and send the results back to the Microsoft Defender ATP cloud services and then make it available to me as a security professional from the portal so that I can continue my investigation. I already did that, so in the action center, I can see there is an item waiting for my review. I can see the investigation package is now ready for me to review. I will open it quickly and see what's inside. Here you can see a lot of information made available for you to help you in your investigation. Let me start by the auto runs, as most attacks involve modifying the auto run on machines to persist after reboots. So it's a good thing to review the auto run configuration for the infected machine. You also get a list of installed programs on that machine. The list contains information about each application installed on the machine, the date of installation, and other more detailed information for you to review. Next, we have the network connections, very important piece of information. If the attack is still happening on that machine, you want to learn about what this machine is communicating with. So here you have the active network connections on that machine, including ports and IPs this machine is communicating with right now. You can also get both DNS cache and ARP cache just in case DNS poisoning or ARP poisoning is taking place in this attack and to help you understand how the machine is performing name resolution. You also get the firewall execution log and the IP configuration of the machine which might become handy for your forensic team. The investigation package also includes a list of processes running on that machine which gives you deep insight about what is happening inside that box without even touching that machine. You also get the schedule tasks information to learn if an attacker creates a schedule task on that machine perhaps to persist after reboots. As you can see in the Excel sheet here, you get a lot of information about each schedule task on that machine. Now my favorite one is the security event log. Here you can search inside the security log files of the infected machine and analyze all security events to help you understand more about the attack happening. Next, you get a comprehensive information about services running on the remote machine including service name, running state, service account used to run each service, and the associated process ID for running services. You get also information about SMB sessions taking place on that machine because remember attackers might move from machine to another by using pass the hash technique and they can use SMP for lateral movement. So here you get a list of all SMP sessions. System information is another good information you get as part of the investigation package to learn more about the machine and the hardware profile. Finally, you get information about all local groups on that machine as you can see here. You also get information about session information so you can see that a user called master is connecting to this remote machine using RDP protocol. You get a forensic investigation summary file containing information about how Microsoft Defender ATP collected all this information together. For example, Microsoft Defender ATP agent on that machine ran this command to collect the process list and generate a CSV file. This can help you as a security professional to learn which commands you can use to collect forensic information, which I believe is so handy.